If you want to know the best Netflix documentaries, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of 2021. So is Greenland lost? Evidently it is. The drama here is that we hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Usually, most of the cases I've been involved in, what they're trying to protect them from is a predatory individual after that person's money. Britney vs. Spears is a documentary film directed by Aaron Lee Carr. We all know her, and we all once loved her. Once famous as the girl-next-door pop icon, Britney Spears' downfall led to the tragic loss of her freedom, in the public as well as legally. Now, with years of investigative work, this documentary frames the intimate and shocking story of a world icon more intimately than ever. And I'm trying to calm her down. I cannot. I'm trying to explain to her, he is your conservator. Without his permission, because he is you, I've kidnapped you. Number 9. On ne sait pas encore qu'un Français peut briller en NBA, donc on est, on est curieux. Comme à l'époque, c'est ce comme ça que je le vois. Tony Parker, The Final Shot, is a documentary film directed by Florent Bowden. This documentary explores the career and life of one of Europe's most famous basketball players, Tony Parker. Centering on the idea of determination and pure will, we get insight into how a mindset can lead to success or failure, and what ultimately led this man to becoming a living legend in sports and the public. He wanted to see if I was able to be the player that he needs for the Spurs to bring them to the title. Et donc, euh, moi, je serais toujours reconnaissant de ça parce que ça, moi, j'ai utilisé ça comme motivation hein, pour lui montrer. Number eight. One of the things that we worked on was putting what a snare drum did in bebop drumming into the rhythm of a rhyme. Biggie, I Got a Story to Tell is a documentary film directed by Emmett Malloy. Depicting the infamous legacy of a man whose sudden and tragic end would be central to the rap industry and lore for decades to come. Biggie, I Got a Story to Tell, frames the troubled career of the rapper and icon told by those who knew him best, offering a never-before-heard perspective on what it takes to be an artist and coming from rock bottom. So as B.I.G. was accenting those notes and rhyming in a way that exudes all the finer qualities of a bebop drum solo. It's incredible. Number 7. Football, I've been so much time. Eu acho que não daria para mim entrar num negócio assim mesmo porque eu não entendo nada, nada de política. Pelé is a documentary film directed by Ben Nichols and David Trihorn. Framing a radical yet legendary career in the history of Brazil, Pelé offers intimate insight into the early life and legendary career of the footballer as the only man to win three World Cup titles, ambitious as a child and already a nationwide hero in the 70s. And this documentary explores the most important years of his life. When you had the dictator, did you change anything for you? No. The football continued the same. Number six. You getting excited yet? Are you ready to paint with us? You can do it. Bob Ross, Happy Accidents, Betrayal and Greed is a documentary film directed by Joshua Ruffey. The man, the legend, the icon, and one of the most beloved and accepted figures of popular culture, Bob Ross. Exploring his personal life and career as a painter and television host, we witness how he fought for his business empire, experiencing backstab, greed, and obstacles along the way, offering a look way more personal than ever before. He filmed three shows in one day, which was really a lot of work. Painting in 28 minutes and finishing an entire landscape was hard enough, but that was just the beginning. Number five. Es gab nicht den Moment, wo man sich sagt, wow, oh, wie krass ist das denn, sondern viel eher, wow, wie krass ist das denn, so im positiven Sinne. Shiny Flakes, The Teenage Drug Lord, is a documentary film directed by Eva Mueller and Michael Schmidt. It's absurd, unbelievable, and 100% true. In this story, we follow Maximilian Schmidt, who reveals how he built a drug empire from his childhood bedroom. He sold over a ton of drugs making millions over the course of 14 months, building one of Germany's greatest cases of drug empires. This documentary examines the crime legend and his unbelievable story that inspired the TV series How to Sell Drugs Online Fast. Drogen, 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 Drogen. Von 100 LSD here to 2 gram crystal meth da. 
Number four. And assume that all people would eat healthy food, we could actually come back within a safe operating space, not only on climate. Breaking Boundaries, The Science of Our Planet is a documentary film directed by John Clay. Humanity is the best it has ever been in breaking the rules that our Earth has followed since its existence to keep a stable system and remain intact. Now with the challenge of our century, we explore how humans are pushing Earth to the edge while comparing our actions to the nine planetary boundaries. There's another transformation that is almost unbelievably simple, but it's key to staying within our planet's boundaries. It can be adopted by you or me, in fact, by anyone with the freedom to choose what food they eat. Number three. And I was always with him to work on the go-karts, to help him, and as well to test the go-karts. When Once he finished one go-kart, I had to test the go-kart if it is okay. Schumacher is a documentary film directed by Hans Bruno Kammertens, Vanessa Knocker, and Michael Weck. In this intimate and emphatic documentary about the seven-time world champion Formula One race car driver, we are introduced to the complex life of Michael Schumacher. Carefully shining a spotlight on his career, as well as his personal life, the story is what fans have waited for to come closer to the racing world's greatest title. I really can't describe it. I mean, it's something crazy. I think the German fans have waiting a long time for Formula One Grand Prix victory. And I really give this victory to the German fans. Number two. We knew that the helicopter couldn't come at night. So we had to get him down to camp for... 14 Peaks, Nothing is Impossible is a documentary film directed by Torquil Jones. Every choice is a decision of life or death. Every move is the difference between rising and falling. With the eagerness to be obsessed, one icon wants to break all the records and embarks on a seemingly impossible quest to summit all 14 of the world's 18,000-meter peaks in seven months, including Mount Everest. But out there in the ruthless cold, anything is your enemy. I thought, you know, what if that was me? He was just going to die in hope. So we made the decision that we had to help. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. The road's already been cordoned off. Never mind the house, the road. No sign of that here. We're right up on the doorstep. But we did interview one or two people who... Uh, had noted him, you know, had they had seen him, they thought it was a bit strange, a bit quiet. Aparecen otras manchas de sangre que son correspondientes a las que va desplazando con el arrastre, pensamos que del cuerpo, hasta desaparecer en un sitio donde había, quiero recordar, unas huellas de un vehículo. I felt the need to report if I had a lesbian boss or lesbian customers that came in at the restaurant where I worked. Let's say I had like acted out sexually with somebody else, I definitely needed to have confessed that. Number one. 40% of all marine life caught gets thrown right back overboard as bycatch, and most of them die before they even hit the water. Seaspiracy is a documentary film directed by Ali Tabrizi. The irony of this gut-wrenching documentary is that the creator originally intended to show the empowering beauty of his beloved oceans, but was confronted with the fact everyone has to face that mankind is wreaking havoc upon them, finding dozens of ways to destroy their ecosystems. Seaspiracy showcases the damage made by men and whether there are ways to stop us. The problem is that eating fish is just as bad, if not worse, than the shark finning industry because the shark finning industry is strictly held in Asia, whereas everyone around the world is eating fish. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.